retro junk in on that. Okay, so I've got it all worked out now. Um, the limitation of uh, the earlier versions of Mac OS are four gigabyte partitions. So an eight gig card is overkill. A two gig card, you could probably do better. A four gig card would be where it is at. Unfortunately, I do not have one. So I'm going with an eight gig card and we'll uh, split it into two partitions. So for this setup, we're using the uh, PCMCIA card slot. So pop that in. Uh, to format it, we're using a floppy disk with a H hard disk hard drive toolkit by FWB. You can find it online. There's also a Lido, Lido, uh, which is also available. Uh, possibly an older or newer version. Uh, it, it's very similar to to the uh, hard drive toolkit. So uh, let's give it a reboot. Got it! <laughs> so while that's booting, um, I'll explain what I've currently done to the memory card. So I've got this very cool little device here. And you stick the card in the side there and it hangs off like a, a cancer, really. And what that allowed me to do was to format it on the uh, Mac, PC, whatever I've got hooked up at the moment. Formatted it to FAT32 with uh, partition scheme of MBR. So I'm going to guide you through how to set it up. I found that it does sometimes freeze, but that can be resolved by rebooting or force quitting. Usually force quitting then rebooting. Or just rebooting because it's, you know, the data's on the floppy disk, it doesn't really matter if it gets damaged. So this is actually a version of Disk Tools. Which OS is it exactly? Ah, it's 8.0. So HDT Primer PE, Personal Edition. So on this floppy disk there's only a very, 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 very basic system folder. Very stripped down. And just enough room for the HDT primer. Okay, so immediately press cancel. Don't do anything with that. So if you hit test, as long as it shows up there, you should be able to do a block level scan. Well, that'll take a couple of hours, so you don't want to do that. So the best bet is to give it a partition first. Give you a few warnings. Since the drive doesn't spin. Now on this testing transfer loops, command period. Don't let it run, it'll just stuff up. So you abort it and then you get onto the next step. which is creating partitions. So there you go, now we're at the partition, as you can see, the most partition can do is 4064, which is not quite half. Uh, so we want half of 7.6. If you want a 50-50 then, we'll just call it new volume, auto mount, We'll tick the bootable one, because we'll probably want a system on this a bit later. Uh, so we'll make it say... So 7695.8 divided by 2. Well, my math isn't very good, so I'm just going to go with the default. <laughs> sure. 
shortcuts. So now there is a Mac OS partition, and that is uh, Mac OS standard. It's not uh, extended or anything fancy like that. So if you're running, if you're on a Mac and you're running uh, 10.7 or 10.8 or newer, you're not going to be able to write to that partition. You'll be able to mount it as read only, but you will not be able to write to it. Probably for good reason too. Under 10.6, I believe standard drives were also read only actually. Um, I think it was 10.5 that had the ultimate in compatibilities. Uh, yeah, so uh, we, we want to make another partition. So we're using all the space, and there you go 3.6 gig additional. Uh, we'll tick the bootable. I don't quite know what that flag does. Can't hurt to have it there. And we're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. So you can quit all that out. You can put a, a system folder off the floppy onto, onto one of the new volumes. Enough room on the disk new volume. Plenty of space on there. Uh, maybe it doesn't like these giant partitions. Oh dear. And a problem pops up. Or it could just need a reboot. See what that does. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, there they are, they're still there. Oh, so it's got a few settings there that you can go in and change. Change the size down, make it say. 120 meg ish. There you go, it's much smaller now. And it doesn't mind having things copied to it. So there must be some sort of limitation. Uh, while four gigabytes is the maximum, this particular program will do it as it's not a good size. And given that the uh, three point something gigabyte one didn't work either, it indicates that this, the limit could be two gigabytes. Of course, talking about all these gigabytes is way more than this system would have ever been able to even contemplate back in the day, I suppose. The days of 160 gigs and 40s and 250s. So that's, okay, so... If I can just change it. Make it say... Uh, kilobytes, 250 meg. How many zeros do I need? Is that the right amount of zeros? Of course that'll erase what I just copied. Cannot be expanded beyond its maximum size. Oh, oh I see, I put in too many things. <laughs> Thanks for stopping me kids, it was just an extra zero. I'll go to say, yeah, 25. So we know up to two works. I don't mean to open that. Got 
some other name. Enough room. So I'm going to say that the limit is two gigabytes. That. Why don't the arrow keys work? Oh, this video is dragging on now. So it's a two gig limit on the... Oh, so these, these two gig cards are perfect. Two gig limit on Mac OS standard. Uh, while it will partition up to four, it won't format. Well, it will format, but it won't let you copy files to it because it doesn't know what's going on. So there you go, I hope you've learned something. We're gonna give it a reboot just after this completes. Just to make sure all is well, which I hope it will be. To clean this trackball mouse. Now we're just booting off that. Look at that. It's working. That's fantastic. So you just need to partition them into two gigabytes a piece. And micro drives don't work. So thanks for watching. I'm glad we finally got that one sorted. It's been a long time in the works. Uh, check out the older videos for how I got to this point. They're in there. So that's how it's done. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. RetroJunkie.net for more. Don't forget to subscribe as well.